Aquarium of Niagara has some big plans in the works. It's already it's going to be revamping its popular penguin exhibit and providing more educational opportunities for kids. That's where we find our Rachel Alzafon. She's live this morning in Niagara Falls with more on what the plans are. Rachel. Uh, good morning, Laura. And some of that pre-demolition construction has already gotten underway. I'm joined now by the executive director to tell us exactly what we can see. You said that there's already some drilling at some points of the day, and this has been set up right next to us. What exactly is um, in progress right now? What's happening is, is we are refurbishing two 10,000-gallon tanks. Wow. So as, as we spoke about um, our living collection where we have to transport them to, one of these tanks will be for our Lake Ontario um, species, and the other one will be where our sharks will go. So um, with a living collection, you just can't start demoing. You have to move the exhibits, and this is what we're doing right now. Um, the exhibits that are being rehabbed right now are original tanks that were poured over 50 years ago when this um, aquarium was being constructed. Now, one of the things that we've been talking about is the financial aspect of this. This cost-wise is a huge project. Where do you stand right now? Well, the new Humble exhibit with the interactive classroom is um, going to cost us about $3.2 million. Right now, we've got a little bit over $2.2 million. That is why it is so important for the foundations, the corporations, and um, every citizen in the region to come and support us because we have over 278 thousand people come through our doors and we have touched the lives of practically everyone that is in this region all the time. Thank you so much Thank and you. coming up so that means that's about a one million dollars still needed. Now coming up we're going to take a look about at what so many people have wanted to see including you Andy. The Penguins will visit them at 630.